right? All right. So good evening, friends. Uh, we are here to learn about the European countries. So click on the screen. Uh, see here on the screen. All right. Good evening, Cyber Guru. So see here on the screen. We already have Europe's map. The blue area that you see, this is the Atlantic Ocean, right? And the various countries are highlighted by different colors. So let's start with a question straight away. Who can tell me the smallest country in the world? I'll give you a hint. It's in Europe, and we see it on the screen. So Cyber Guru says Luxembourg. That is not the answer. Lokesh has in fact given us the correct answer. It is Vatican City. However, you can see it on the screen, right? And Vatican City is here. Now we call it a country. However, it is extremely, extremely small. In fact, it has only one thousand residents. Also. If you talk about Vatican City, what is it famous for? Can anyone tell me? Friends, please feel free to write in the chat box. Cyber Guru is pretty close. He has said church. Yes, T one two three has told us the answer. It is the home of the Pope, and the Pope is the head of all the Catholics, right? So great going, friends. All right, now the next question is: Vatican City, the world's smallest country, lies inside the capital of another country. Yes. So Cyber Guru, great going. You have given us the correct answers. Vatican City lies in Rome, right? So we see Rome here. This is the green area. And Rome is the capital of Italy, right? Now Italy has given us a lot of things, apart from pizzas, of course. You might have heard of Julius Caesar. So Italy was the home of the Roman Empire, and yes, as Cyber Guru rightly says, it is also the home of Ferrari. Now Julius Caesar was one of the greatest ever military and political leaders of all the time, right? So Italy has got a very very rich heritage, and of course, as we all know now, it is the home of the Pope as well, which is designated as another country, which is Vatican City, right? Okay then. So now that we know about Italy and its capital Rome, let's talk about Italy's flag. Now, can anyone tell me how many strips is the flag divided into? Three, three. Excellent. So everyone knows this. And who is going to tell me the colors of the flag? Anyone? So Harshika is saying red, white, green. Absolutely correct. So guys, uh, orange is not the color, right? We see the flag on the screen. It's divided into three strips, vertical. We have green on the far left, white in the middle. And we have red on the extreme right. All right, great. Now let's come to another question about Italy. You see four objects on the screen. This is the thermometer, typewriter, violin, and here we have the piano. Now, which of these objects was not invented in Italy? All right, this is a question. The answer may be all four of them. The answer may be none of them. The answer may be one or two of them. Any guesses? Which of these four objects that we use was not invented in Italy? Harshika says violin. Alka says thermometer. Any other guesses, friends? Cyber Guru is saying all of them. So all of them were not made in Italy, all right. And Upasana is saying typewriter. So more or less we have all the four options with us. So uh, friends, this was in fact a trick question. 
all of the four objects were invented in Italy. All right. So the thermometer, typewriter, piano, and violin, all four of them have their origins in Italy.